Hello. Welcome to Jade Kind Video Gaming. My name is Adam, here with more Pokemon Sword in the Crown Tundra. Where we're after legendary Pokemon. And, um, well, the legendary Pokemon that we were talking to wants us to speak to the mayor or something, and the mayor went this way, apparently. So. We'll just head this way. I've seen you in, like, popular culture. And do not have one. Okay. Um. Let's just try, try Snapshot. It's obviously not our most powerful water moves, but it is a water move, which we're really good at. Guys was busted. Ah, perfect. Oh no, it broke free. Ooh, creepy. Oh! Almost had it. And, uh, I'm unconscious. I don't know if it's using physical attacks, but if so, Gyarados will reduce them. Because that's what he does, just by being there. Okay, that's... okay. So, my Pokémon said it was thinking about camping when I was battling the Legendary, and I thought maybe it was an effect of the Legendary Pokémon. I think it's just I haven't gone camping in a while, and so my Pokémon say that. Mimikyu. So close, too. Yes! Mimikyu was caught. Okay. It is a disguised Pokemon. Ghost and Fairy. Disguised form. Wears a rag fashioned into a Pikachu costume in an effort to look less scary. Unfortunately, the costume only makes it creepier. I don't know if that's true or not. Oh. Anyways. Restore my Pokemon. Thanks, Mimikyu, for putting a line across the screen. Not. I 
I really hope in Scarlet and Violet that they don't have that forced thing. Uh, Okay, cool. He does give me a Premier Ball, too. I was like, if I buy from this guy instead of, like, an actual bookmark, do I still get a Premier Ball? The answer? Yeah. Cool. No. Continuing to head on. I think they said to go this way. Oh, there's a, uh, Pokeball. Well, I will go grab that. Oh, and there's a Shiny. Jar of honey. Cracked pot. Peculiar teapot that can make a certain species of Pokemon evolve. Maybe cracked, but tea poured from it is delicious. Is that, that little fenced area feels like maybe where I'm supposed to go? Do I have you? Good arena. No! Okay. Um. You're high level, let's just try this. Worst case, you die, you get experience, and then move on. I can get to it. Fainted, okay. Because, like, to some extent, I should be battling wild Pokemon just for getting of experience. Especially as it doesn't feel like there's a whole bunch of trainers around here wanting to battle. Tea. This feels like what that uh, cracked teapot might evolve. We'll go camping when we get a chance. Wait, I don't have to find the campsite. I can just camp, can I? And part of me, my brain is like, I am fine just to, yeah, battle the wild Pokemon, get the experience, move on. Fancy apple. What on earth? TR33 Shadow Ball. Use your hurdles a shadowy blob at the target, and it may also lower the target's special defense stat. Like, what are you? Are you? Yep. Even the weaker move knocks it out. Does at least advance my scene list, though. Bag of Stardust. Okay. Now, because my Pokemon keep being whiny babies...
Terrifying, terrifying. Is that enough? Are they going to quit whining? Hopefully they quit being whiny babies. Whoa! Fast. Okay, Giant's Bed is where I'm supposed to be to find the mayor. So. Sprig of Bold Mint. Okay. Energy Root. Just uh, making sure to at least have the scene part of my Pokedex filled out with these guys. And then after I've seen them, it lets me know what's effective and not effective without me having to like remember it and think, "Gee, they're poison? Are they? Are they poison ground? Maybe they're poison ground. What's good against what?" I'm gonna go for five. Ooh, seven. So then are there... Oh, she's smaller than I would have expected. Um, so are there just like moonstones lying about that one of the... They're just walking into and like, oh, I'm evolving. This is the giant's foot. I'm supposed to be in the giant's bed, right? Head to the giant's bed to find the mayor. Yeah, okay. This way, maybe? Yeah. Is that just a wild aerodactyl? down here. Just like the memories of what the game is. Like, this is an extinct Pokemon. I guess, you know, we brought it back to life and now they're wild. Because in Red and blue, you brought the thing back to life, and so now it's wild, and I'm just killing it. I'm just too good. Hydro Pump's my good water move, I use my bad water move, and things just die. I guess if I actually want to go around and catch things, I will have to change Pokemon. 
back box packed with a tremendous amount of electric energy loved by a certain type of Pokemon. Would it be... What's the phone... Rotom. Uh, careful, Mint. Special defense. Wild Gyarados in that little pond, terrifying. User com uh, compels the target to keep using the, the move it encored for three turns. This gonna change. Yep. Psychic first to your dark. I don't quite want to do that. Um, that'll work. Hey! You're lovely! I love you! Hi! Um, step one. Just try Quick Ball. Maybe it'll work. So mean. I'm gonna risk it. Oh, good. Got it. Okay, so I have a decision right now that I was not expecting to have. Okay. 
Umbreon. Moon Knight Pokemon. Dark. This Pokemon becomes angry. It pours a uh, secret. It's pours secrete a poisonous sweat, which it sprays at its opponent's eyes. Hmm. Nine Tails, you're wonderful. I've worked so hard. We've we've leveled up Vulpix over so much time, and eventually evolved you into Nine Tails, and it's been great. Go away. I have an Umbreon now. Oh, you're lovely. I love you. Hi. You're good. I I like you. Hi. Yeah! Oh. Okay. So, what's, um... What's your summary? What are you, what's you about? Um... So you have... Last Resort, some garbage, and Dark Pulse. Give you some glasses. Not wise glasses, black glasses. And because we're no fool, <coughs> also of note. The Pokemon here are higher level than my current Pokemon, so that increased party level overall. <laughs> okay. That's fun! I did not expect to find that. Like, like when I saw that there were, um, like, the evolutions on this Pokedex, like, I figured, oh, hey, look, they there's going to be Eevees here. I did not expect to find the evolutions. That was a surprise. Hey, we found the mayor. Floatstone. Alas, this field is no good either. The soil is barren. No crop could possibly grow here now. Perhaps the lands of the Crown Tundra truly are beyond hope. What's this? Oh, our dear visitor. What brings you here? You want to learn about the loyal steed of the King of Bountiful Harvests? Well, this is hardly the place for storytelling. Come to my home in Freezington. It's better to have a nice chat in the warmth, after all. Please visit whenever you're ready. I'll be waiting. That is a giant tree. It's like, wait, sparkle. Lots of wild aerodactyls. My, um... Wow. Wow. He was close. I wandered a whole lot trying to freaking find that guy. Uh, I just didn't go left enough. Have you seen what's happened to the statue of the Queen of, Bount Queen of Bountiful Harvest? Its head has become massive. Hmm? You say that's 
the way the king is supposed to look. Now that you mention it, it does resemble the design on our town souvenir shirts. But you speak as if you've seen the king with your own two eyes. That statue's been broken since I was a child. Oh, of course. You wanted to learn about the loyal steed of the King of Artifacts. Well, I don't know why you'd be interested in such things, but come on then, follow me. An old book I read long ago said the King's loyal steed was particularly fond of a certain special vegetable. But my memory isn't what it's used to be. I can't recall what exactly the steed so desired. I think it's best that you search on the bookshelf over there if you want to find out any more. Is it carrots? I bet it's carrots. There are all kinds of books about the Crown Chantra. Which book would you like to read? The King's Proud Steed. The horse Pokemon gave over its power to serve the king and carry its, it hither and thither. The two even became one for a time, combining their strength to create a f forest in a single night. This proud steed had been a wild thing once, ravaging the village crops and causing much woe. But the king, in all its greatness, brought this fierce creature to heal and secured its loyalty. And for each among us who claims the steed's hide, was black as the midnight gloom in which ghosts appear, there is another who claims it was white as a block of solid ice. None alive can now say which is the truth. Would you like to check out any of uh, the books? Party crops? While carrots can be grown in the crown tundra, they have rather unusual growth habits. When growth grown beneath the heaped snow, these hardy roots tend to develop into ice root carrots. When growing in tracks close to where many souls are laid to rest, shadow root carrots will be your crop. Shade root carrots are a favorite treat for many ghost type Pokemon, while ice type Pokemon seem to delight in eating ice root carrots. According to old fairy tales, the steed that the King of Bountiful Harvest rode upon loved both of these varieties, or perhaps one or the other. Records seem to be to contradict one another, with some stories speaking of a white seed. Uh, delighting in ice root carrots, and others mentioning a black steed devouring shade root carrots. I'm done for now. Yes. My head, it is massive. found a large leak. Do I have to go get the guy and tell him to come out here, or will he just come? Crown, 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 crown. All I say is crown. Hmm. Oh, hey there, chief. I had a feeling someone called me. Was it you? Huh? Uh, nope, he just comes. Human child. Were you able to find something out about my loyal steed? Yes. You say you found out about something that my loyal steed could not resist? It's been so long since we rode together that I had completely forgotten. With this information, we may be able to lure my lower steed to, my, to me yet. So tell me, what is, is it that my loyal steed would find so irresistible? Carrots. Oh. Carrots, you say? Yes, yes, I remember now. Even back when we were together, it would leap at any chance to eat some kind of crop. It took everything I had to restrain it. Looking back, the crop must have been carrots. I am in your debt, human child. What we must do now is clear. If we are able to find carrots somewhere, it should be but a trifle to lure my loyal seed back to me. I wonder, do the humans of the village grow any carrots? If we could obtain even a single seed, I could grow a carrot from it myself. In order to find the king's beloved steed, 
I'll need to f first get my hand on its favorite fruit, carrots. Maybe the people of Friesenton can help me out by selling carrot seeds, which is the reason I knew it was carrots, because they were already offering to sell me seeds. Gee, I guess I'll have to find where that person that sells seeds is next time. Gee, I wonder where they are. Yep, we'll have to look for them. Not that way, Inteleon. The other way, I'm sure of it. We'll find us some carrot seeds next time. <laughs> Bye.